Hi, it's Natasha with soulbynat.com here. And today I am bringing you a lost file. I recorded this video back in 2016. I had, a, I'm gonna call it a nightmare situation. I basically was working with a buyer. We showed up to closing and the seller did not show up to closing. And at the time I just thought this like, why did this happen to me? Like this never happens to anybody. This is so odd. However, within the past couple of weeks, I've heard from two different people that had buyers that backed out for different reasons. And I'm not talking about backing out during due diligence, backing out because of financing when you can legally do so. I'm talking about like at the end where we're all good to go and we're ready to close. You just can't decide, like, I'm just not gonna go through with it. Like, you're in a legally binding contract where there are consequences and repercussions. If you terminate a contract like that, people that decide to do something like that, it's extremely selfish, especially when it's for something that's really, it's so irrational. And it's selfish because you're affecting, let's just say on the buyer side, you're affecting the seller. In this case, the sellers were buying another house and their purchase for the new house was contingent upon them selling to this buyer that backed out. That buyer is also affecting the agent, both agents involved, because at that point, they have done their job. They have done everything that they were supposed to do. And in this business of real estate, we are paid on commission at the closing table. So essentially those agents have worked for free and are getting no you know no payment for their services then you have and i say agents it's really the brokers that are you know are getting paid and then that tr trickles down to the agent you also have the lender because the lender at that point has worked and done everything to get the loan approved so they're now affected just know that the buyer can be sued for all of those damages from the sellers to the agents they can be sued for all of that so I don't even feel like I need to give that as a tip to just not cancel a contract because normal people, sane people, that's not something that really happens often. But if it enters your mind that you just want to skip out on a contract, just know there are major, major consequences to doing something like that. So I've rambled on enough. I'm going to insert this video now. Again, this was in 2016. It did work out, but here you go. Hi, it's Natasha from www.soldbynat.com and I wanted to just make this quick video. Today has been a rough, rough day. I'm tempted to say that it's been a dreadful day, but I just have to stay grounded and remember, you know, I still have my family, my health, a roof over my head, all of the important things are still there. So I won't say it's just been dreadful, but it's been a rough day. Um, and I want to make this video because this is for the, age, the agents out there or the people that say, I'm going to get into business and I'm going to, there's so much money to be made in real estate and it looks so easy and fun on HGTV. <laughs> it's, you have your days, okay? Today, I have been under contract working with the buyer since October, early October. Okay, today is November 30th. Today was closing. Everyone showed up except the seller. The most bizarre thing, if, when I mention this to anybody, even the closing, they're like, what? Like, who? That never happens. Like, the seller just doesn't show up. But I don't know if you want to call her crazy, a scammer. I don't know what the deal is. She just really started going left towards the end. Um, she would sign the documents, but then she'd have a problem with, and this is between her and her agent. But then it looked like, okay, she's back on board. We're moving forward. I mean, it got bad to where she attacked her agent when she went pretty more so verbally, but um, she did get into it with her agent when her agent went to collect her belongings from the house. Um, and that was last night. The broker got involved and the broker got her. We, so we thought she was back on board until today where she went MIA, did it show up for closing. I could talk about several things, talk about several inconveniences. It would be the like equivalent of working for a month um, 
at no pay. Um, we're going to talk about that. Um, more so, let's talk about this buyer. This buyer that has already given notice to her rental and had to move. Um, what, what do you say to her? What, what, what? I was prepared for my buyer to cry, scream, blame it on me. And you know what? I would have sat there and I would have took it. Because at that point, my buyer had been put through the ringer by the lenders, by the seller and her demands. And she is, is nothing but the grace of God that she was hurt. She was numb. She was going through the emotions, but her composure. I give her the award of how she handled it. And that showed me like how grounded she is and how grounded you have to be in life. I mean, I just think it, she says it's wisdom and through time and things like that. But just to know, yeah, things didn't go how you planned. Things didn't work out. The world is not over. It's still going to continue. We're going to work it out. I'm going to get her a place. But for those realtors out there, you have to be prepared for days like this. What happens when you are waiting on this commission? Like your mortgage is due. Your, your, your kids have things. They need things. You're behind. like, think about those type of things because it's part of the business. There are, there's a lot in real estate that you are not in control of. That would be my biggest pet peeve with being in real estate. There is so, there are so many um, components, so many functioning parts, and they have to gel and flow together to make things work. What happens when one of those components don't, don't work out? I still enjoy what I do. I still enjoy helping people, but you need to be realistic. The grass always looks green on the other side. You know, I love the flexibility about real estate. I love helping people in the big picture and, you know, but just know you may have a day. Like, this was really odd. So I don't want to see you have a day like this, but bizarre things do happen. You do get very interesting people sometimes that you work with and a lot that happens that may be out of your control but just know you got to keep it moving like something like this could kind of say listen I want to get a job I'm done you just have to keep it keep it moving and another thing in real estate like you got to keep hustling keep grinding so that you have something else coming in the pipeline another closing because if you don't and you have something like this happen your money has tanked you don't know what you're gonna do how you gonna pay your bills and then you want to you don't want to operate from that mindset of fear and lack and all of that so just had to share this story okay strap my boots keep it moving find us by another place What's going to happen with this seller? I mean, other brokers are, you know, they're talking about suing her and all of this. My main focus right now is finding a place for my buyer. Karma is something real. So, okay. All right. So, I hope you got something from this video. Tomorrow's a new day. And we're going to keep moving. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe. If you found this video at all informative, it might have even been entertaining. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe and have a beautiful day. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day.